Hi there, it's Nature Woman. I'm coming back with my tackle box. Going through it, trying to clean it out. This is years worth of tackle in here. This was not bought in one day or one year. This is multiple years put together. This is what works in the area that I go to ponds. Like when I do like ponds and certain lakes around where I live, this is the stuff that works. I know works. I caught fish on these things. <laughs> So that's what's in this box is proven stuff that I know works. So let's start up here. This is a Plano three tray box. Uh, let's do that there. I like to buy that because it's American made right here in Illinois. So, so here we are. And uh, I have a variety of weedless hooks in here, different sizes. Uh, Alberdeen hooks, I guess. Uh, they don't have the... Um, the bait hook, which can rip the fish fish's mouth open. Uh, a lot of lakes where I, I live, you can't have barbs. So uh, here's some swivels, some like blade baits, some stuff like that. Um, just a variety of different uh, weights. And uh, uh, what I do on some of these, like I'll put chicken livers and stuff on if I'm catfishing and throw them out. And uh, so that works. Some spinner baits, blade spinner baits. This right here are like MEPS. Um, they're my uh, MEPS baits. These right here, this is a soft spinner bait. And then these are just like Walmart ones that I got to try. They're like the fish head ones. And these are like Mirabu's. I like these. The white and pink work the best. I need to get the bigger ones because I don't have any of the bigger ones left. And then these right here, believe it or not, work really good where I live. And uh, these are to like, if you're like doing a uh, perch, perch f like these for some reason. Uh, here I've got a variety of bobbers. I got some slip bobbers and just regular bobbers, cigar bobbers, circular bobbers. I really like this color because it's easy for me to see them. Um, as you get up there in age, you need to have things you can see. <laughs> Um, so here are my frogs. Um, this scum frog, believe it or not, uh, works really good in my area. And like, if you're wanting bass, this is the thing. This is seriously the legit thing. These frogs, they're okay, but they don't catch them. Like this catches big, I don't know what's, what's up with this weird, funky looking frog, but this frog catches bass, like big bass. Like I'm talking like you're huge. Well, anyway, um, I have a tape measure, a clippers, license, variety of um, hooks that I need to be putting away, uh, just some uh, bobbers. Here are some hard baits. I do uh, like some Berkeley baits and stuff and uh, topwater fuzz baits and, you know, poppers and um, blade baits. I've got everything. This right here, believe it or not, from Storm. Oh, I forgot what they call this one, but I know it's a Storm bait. This thing, if you're in Indiana, Michigan, or Illinois, get you one of these. I promise you, you're gonna be getting some fish. Get this color, which is that black and silver. Trust me, that'll help you out. Um, a lot of uh, topwater stuff and just, you know, poppers and a frog, stuff like that. I don't have a lot of my, I don't, this box is not geared towards trout fishing. This is more like bass, bluegill, and just pond stuff. Uh, creature baits, um, a lot of weedless stuff. I have these. I actually really like these because this can catch some really big fish as well. When I'm in the boat and I'm going out, some, there's a pier that I can fish off too and do that um, around here here. Um, let's see. I just got done grocery shopping and putting the kids down. So a little tired this evening. Let's see all kinds of just like, uh, trick worms and worms and drop baits, drop shots and, uh, wiggle tail weight, uh, creatures, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, Senkos, I've got them all in here. 
and I just I do different types of water so I have to like I go off the clarity of like what it is but these are mostly the colors that I use um, because I don't need all those like um, candy cane or whatever they got out there because some of that stuff I just believe is gimmicky but all this stuff pretty much works um, I always keep um, uh, bug spray I always keep believe it or not I like the copper tone baby water stuff the reason is it goes on thicker and it stays on longer if you haven't tried this try this because this it has to be rated for as long as it says it is on the bottle because this has been like uh, there's like some kind of law for that for the baby's stuff whereas with the adult stuff they don't have to go up to the 50 or 35 that they say they do, but on the baby stuff, they do. So get the baby um, copper tone, trust me. And do the lotion, not the spray. The lotion is much better for you. Keep a cigarette lighter just in case you gotta start a fire or burn the ends of something. Um, a cheap army Swiss knife, which is fake. It's, a, it's not fake, well, it's an Ozark Trail Swiss knife, I guess, or imitation knife. <laughs> So down here, I have a variety of weights and hooks and just, you know, drop shots and, and just whatever. Uh, if you're gonna be fishing in Michigan, Indiana, or Illinois, this right here is something you may wanna look into. These worms are really cheap. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they come in individual packs and they're like a dollar. The purple and the white trust me give it a try and you're gonna be catching fish like crazy and I'm talking every time um, this works and I keep several of these in here um, I have a black and uh, white one too that catches fish too but this purple and white I don't know what it is about this color but this color it, it's like gold it's like it's money um, I don't loan that out. That stays in my box. That's that's for me to fish with. Um, now these Lake Fork um, little lures, it's kind of like little um, minnows almost. And uh, these work, these work pretty good. It's got like a garlic scent on it. So if you ever get a chance to try these, if you're fishing in the lakes around here, this really works. Okay. Um, you have to measure and weigh your fish around here if you're going to keep it. I don't. I just like to measure and weigh it just to, for my records. But here, the, here's this. I always keep that in. Um, a nice pair of gloves because you, sometimes you get fish with teeth and stuff. Um, if you're going out fishing, like sometimes I go out fishing for bass and stuff. But sometimes I get there and it's crappie or sunfish hitting. And if so, I need to lower the line down to four pounds. So I always keep a four pound roll in here. Um, I keep mace because when I go fishing, I've had a couple incidents where a, a couple men just had to be weird and like freaked me out. So I always keep mace on me now. Um, I also keep a, uh, a knife too. And um, depending on where I'm fishing, um, possibly um, other types of safety gear, which I'm not gonna discuss. Um, here's a cheap um, needle nose. I hate this pair. This is from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, it barely opens. It's stiff, it does not work good. Do not buy these. They're crap. The only reason I have it in here is because I lost mine and a Dollar Tree was the only thing that was open along the way to go to the lake I was going to. And I needed something for that day. So that's why I have this, but this is going to get replaced. Leaving it in here until I can replace it. But seriously, I've lubed it. I've tried everything to get this thing to open better. It's just milled wrong. It's just wrong all the way about. So uh, let's see what else do I keep in here. I keep band-aids in there. I also keep some of these hooks. I um, actually like the Eagle Claw, but these were a quarter a piece, so I went ahead and got a couple packs of those. So those are in there. But normally I do Eagle Claw, which are about a dollar a pack. Let me put this stuff back. 
Um, I also do um, panfish magnet, which is very similar to the trout magnet type stuff. Um, it's a little bit bigger. This works really good with um, bass, rockfish, um, all kinds of stuff around here. This, this works on everything that I've used it. So I always keep one of those in there. Uh, let's see, I keep some gulp. Um, yeah, gulp alive. Uh, these, I have not really caught anything on this green and white one yet, but a friend of mine uses these and they catch good fish. Now, I, I get bites in, on these. Now, like on these weird, uh, what are these? Like earthworms. Um, what's the weirdest thing is, is that I get, oh, uh, what's the fish with the teeth? Oh, I can't think of their name right now. I get them on this. They just, so I have to use a wire line if I'm using these, because those fish with the teeth, and right now I can't think of the name, but they bite the line off. <laughs> so. Um, these crappie, uh, I've not really had any luck with these. I've tried them, just, they just have not worked for me, these crappie baits. I would not recommend those. I have them just to, you know, if nothing's biting, why not try it? I like to do a lot of uh, worm and bobber fishing too. So I'd always take two, two poles with me. Now these work pretty good, these minnows by Gulp Alive. Now these work okay. Um, getting kind of low on them, but, uh, yeah, these work good. So if you're going to be in Michigan, these work really good for some reason in Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, not as much, but Michigan and Indiana, if you're fishing, I don't know what it is, but they love these. Um, so depending on where you're, um, going, I also got all kinds of random weights. I've got bullet weights. I've got... Uh, egg sinkers. I've got all kinds of just different kinds of weights. Another um, Ozark Trail, basically folding utility, like a. It's one of those fake uh, utility knife things. because when that other one didn't work good, we were we came near a Walmart, but they were out on needle nose because I guess by the lake, they must sell them out quite a bit, but they had this, so this works pretty good. So I used this instead of the other one, but the other one's in there, so I do need to get rid of that because it doesn't matter if you oil it or not, it just does not work, so. And I always keep hand sanitizers and hand wipes and stuff in there. So I, I do have to do some work. Um, on it. Uh, one thing I do like are these hemostats because sometimes you get fish and it's stuck down their throat and these things come in handy. Um, I've seen fishermen just like rip out a fish's throat or their mouth. That just irritates me. I don't like it when people do that. If you can't fish properly, you shouldn't be out there fishing um, because I've just seen so many people just ruin the sport because they're just idiots you know you don't have to be mean or cruel to the fish what did they do to you you know like seriously I mean I've seen people squeeze them I've seen them kick them I've seen them all kinds of horrible stuff and I say something I'll say something but I do need to clean up the outdoors of this tackle box this is my plan all three Tackle box, here's some more hand wipes. This is my fishing license, I'm not gonna show that. And then I have this over here. Sometimes I'll just put, you know, some cash or whatever in there. But this is uh, one of my tackle boxes. I have a couple different ones and I have some big ones, but I don't really carry those around. I'm looking to get like a bag. I'd like to have like a medium sized bag with a shoulder strap. That would be nice, but I haven't found one I liked yet, so. Right now, this is the tackle box. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions of what I can put in here, I would very much appreciate it. Now, this is not a trout box. So if I'm gonna be doing salmon fishing and trout fishing, that's totally different gear that I use. But other than that, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I appreciate you all. Thank you, bye-bye.